At the top of the news cycle this week, Trump's hush money trial. You've likely heard it over and over. But what is this case really about? And why is it being called a hush money trial when Trump isn't being charged for paying off a porn star? Because even if he did that, which he says he didn't, paying hush money isn't a crime. Nobody in the legal circle is focused on this aspect, but it's the description the media has largely used and now the nation has latched onto. A jury selection begins for Donald Trump's hush money trial in New York City. It is the first criminal trial of any president in American history. The second day of Donald Trump's hush money trial wrapping up just a little while ago. We begin with the first six jurors seated in that New York hush money trial of Donald Trump. Former President Donald Trump says he's ready to take the stand at his upcoming hush money trial. While the case wouldn't exist without this $130,000 payment Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen made to Stormy Daniels, then Trump reimbursed, the charges in the case revolve around how Trump classified the repayment and if he purposely hid the move as a legal expense to save his reputation in the eyes of voters. So if the jury finds Trump did pay off Stormy Daniels, that's not the crime. And if the jury believes Trump did falsify business records, that doesn't make it a felony in and of itself. The prosecution has to prove he did so with the intent to commit another crime. The jury will have to find Trump falsified records and did so with the intent of concealing a campaign finance or tax crime, which DA Alvin Bragg has classified as interfering in the 2016 election. The complexity of this case has some legal scholars questioning how the trial is being framed and expressed this in recent articles. In an op-ed titled, Don't Call It a Hush Money Case, a CNN legal analyst said, when information is withheld from voters, as Bragg alleges happened here, that undermines democracy. Calling this trial a mere hush money case risks minimizing what's at stake. It's an election interference one, and we should say so. But a legal scholar wrote in a Los Angeles Times op-ed, I certainly understand the impulse of Trump opponents to label this case as one of election interference. Willfully not reporting expenses to cover up an affair isn't interfering with an election along the lines of trying to get a secretary of state to falsify vote totals. Calling it election interference actually cheapens the term. A former Manhattan prosecutor and legal blog writer for MSNBC says it's been called the hush money case, but Donald Trump isn't charged with paying hush money. It's been called an election interference case, but that might not fully explain it either. Technically, it's a falsifying business records case. Of course, that doesn't have the same ring to it as hush money or election interference. The New York Times published an article saying a case about true and accurate business records is not the sexiest way to describe the case, which is why it's become known as the hush money trial. This could be seen as sensationalism, which is a form of bias media watchdog groups like All Sides looks out for. But this case, it's a tough one. You've got news outlets on the left and the right calling it the hush money trial. It's common for news outlets to shorthand a trial name since we refer to it so many times in continuing coverage. And if the media were to call it the Trump case, it might be hard to differentiate between Trump's other cases. For the purpose of this story, we hope you have some context behind the coin name to help you form your own opinions about a trial you'll likely hear about for many weeks to come, as opening statements are right around the corner. Mm -hmm.